Okay, guys, let's see if we can go through um, review questions 7.5, 6, and 7. Let's start with 5. Describe the difference between kinetic and potential energy. Right. So see if you can try to write down an answer, go through the textbook, see if you understand this. Well, we know that kinetic energy is energy due to motion. Okay. And potential energy is energy due to, in a very simple way, due to its position. But the textbook uses the word, its configuration state. So let's have a look here. Kinetic energy is the energy any moving object has because of its motion. I think we can understand that. That's easy. Potential energy is energy stored in a system due to reversible changes in the configuration state of the system okay so potential energy either you've got an object and you lift it up and so its potential energy increases or you've got an object that you uh, you compress it okay so that it's it's, it's squeezed it's compressed You've changed its configuration state, but then if you let go of that, that, that pressure, it'll reverse back to its original state. So that is a potential energy. Okay, it's based on its configuration state. Okay, all right. Give an example, six, give an example of an interaction that converts kinetic energy to thermal energy. Okay, can you think about an example? Kinetic energy to thermal energy. All right, so let's see, they give a couple of examples here. Um, the one example is bending. Uh, it speaks here about coherent kinetic energy. We'll get to that in the next question. So you can bend a paper clip back and forth. This bending is coherent kinetic energy okay so you're bending a paper clip back and forth and then as you're doing that it heats up it turns into incoherent thermal energy that's the first example and the second example is just simply friction right rubbing your hands together um, you're converting this coherent kinetic energy into incoherent kinetic energy which is thermal energy okay all right, but now we'll get to this question here, seven, which is a very important uh, question. Uh, the concepts here are very important. How does energy of motion differ from energy of configuration? Right, so um, we were, we've already seen the idea of energy of motion and energy of configuration, okay? But there's a little bit more to it than simply kinetic energy and potential energy. So how does energy of motion differ from energy of configuration? Okay. How does coherent energy differ from incoherent energy? So the best thing to do is to look at a picture. Okay. So first of all, what have we got here? We've got energy of motion energy of configuration and we've got coherent energy and incoherent energy okay so you can actually create a little matrix here so you've got you've got energy of motion which is coherent you've got energy uh, configuration energy of configuration which is coherent you've got energy of motion which is incoherent you've got energy of configuration which is incoherent okay well now what are we talking about now let's go look at the actual picture here okay so energy of motion energy of configuration coherent energy incoherent energy okay so energy so we know we've, we've seen these two guys energy of motion is simply energy due to the motion of of this object the motion of the atoms right motion of, it's motion 
Then you've got energy of configuration, which is you're changing the shape. You're changing the position of this object. So, moving, motion, shape, position, configuration, state. Okay? So you've got these two types of motion. And for each of these types, you've either got coherent or incoherent. Now, I don't have time to go and look at the actual dictionary definition. But, you know, if, if, if uh, you've got an adult, they can speak, right? They speak in a coherent way. You can understand it. There's order. There's understanding. Whereas, whereas you know, I'm about to have my second son. And if he's six months old, he probably is speaking is incoherent. Well, if, if you can consider that speaking. It is kind of a speaking. But it doesn't make sense. Incoherent. Okay? Disorder. Disorder. Okay? <laughs> That's what a child is sometimes. Disorder. Okay. All right. So, what is coherent en energy of motion? That is simply kinetic energy. And what is coherent configuration energy? That is potential energy. Okay? So, these two guys are your mechanical energy. Right? Um, these are reverse these this is your mechanical energy where you've got reversible concepts right you take a spring um, a spring and you compress it a little bit and then you let it go you have increased its configuration or you've you've changed the springs configuration state right you've increased the potential energy when you compress it and the uh, kinetic energy has gone down, but then you let it go, and it's reversible. It it is it's coherent, meaning you, it reverses back to its original configuration state and converts that potential energy back to kinetic energy. Okay, but then you've got uh, incoherent uh, energies, and the energy of motion that's incoherent is thermal energy. Okay, so. The particles are moving, but they're not moving in an orderly state, in a uniform state. They're moving in a in disorder, in a confused state. And so all that happens is you can't use that energy again. All that happens is the temperature goes up. You increase the temperature. Okay? It's like if you rub your hands, um, those kinds of examples where coherent energy gets converted into incoherent, irreversible, right? You can't get this energy back, all right? Then what about the incoherent energy of the configuration state? Again, you deform an object, but you deform it in such a way that the it is irreversible. The atoms have moved in such a way that they can't return to their original state. Okay, so this is incoherent uh, motion energy, incoherent uh, configuration state energy. This is coherent and coherent. Now, all of this, all of these three are internal energy, right? All three of these guys are internal energy. As you can see, only this guy here is reversible. These two are irreversible uh, energy sources or energies. Okay? Alright, so hopefully that that has answered this point seven here, uh, 7.7. .7. How does energy of motion differ from energy of configuration? And how does coherent energy differ from incoherent energy?